We are now confident in how to create the essential charts in Excel. But the only problem is, right now, every chart seems to pop up in the same place and every chart seems to be exactly the same size. So we need to show how to move these charts and how to resize it. Just like our cells in Excel, you can move your charts to different locations within the same sheet. Click on a chart and the chart will get highlighted. You'll know that when you see all these small circles appear around the edges of your chart, as well as the data that generated the chart. Once you've selected the chart, you'll see the move cursor appear when you hover over the chart. You can then move your chart to any part of your spreadsheet. As you can see, all the charts that we generated have appeared on top of each other. You can also move charts by copying or cutting and pasting them into different sheets. So right click and copy on any of your charts. Click on another sheet. Let's say I created a new sheet. And paste. And my chart appears in a different sheet. Go back to sales 2019 tab and my original chart is still there. Because I just click copy and paste. A third way to move charts is using a specific tool called Move Chart in Excel. Once you click on a chart, Excel will create a new tab called Chart Tools. Within Chart Tools, you have two other tabs, the Design tab and the Format tab. Click on Design and right at the end, we have the Move Chart. Click on Move Chart and now, you have two options. You can move the chart to a new sheet where you've got an object in, a drop-down menu which lets you select which sheet you want the chart to go into. So let's say I choose Sheet Mode. Click on OK and the pie chart has now moved to the tab Sheet Mode. As you can see, the undo icon is not highlighted anymore. So Excel tells you that you can undo, so let's move that chart back, you cannot see, it's here. <laughs> so let's move this chart back, move, and then to our since 2019, and click on it. And there he, it is again. And then also up to delete this, because you have already two Two charts like this just simply click on it and press on delete and it is gone within the move chart tool there's another option so let's look at that while we select a chart let's look at that move chart and now click on the new sheet and as you can see it is highlighted you can type in any name that you want for this chart so I just type Central 2019 and click on OK. And let's see what a chart sheet looks like. So a chart sheet is literally, as it says, an entire sheet that contains just the chart. It's great for printing purposes, so you don't need to resize it because the chart sheet contains just a chart. So let's go back to the Seals 2019 tab. As you can see, the chart is now completely moved. There's no copy of that chart in this tab anymore. Um, some of our charts, however, looks really small. So how do we resize the chart? So let's select the column chart that appears at the bottom here. So you can drag any of these handles to increase or decrease the size of your chart. Click on a handle and drag based on your preference. As you can see, that's far more impactful when the graph is appropriately resized. How big should your chart be? So that's a combination of you deciding 
what gives the best impactful result to your audience and also considering the printing issues that will go hand in hand so let's see what will happen if i print this sheet so go to the page layout then click on grid lines print as you can see the lines is over here and here so we need to play around with this a little bit this column chart is now going to print across two sheets so because you can see this the dash line separating sheet one and sheet two so let's check the orientations of our sheet so let's put it into landscape and we just adjust it a little bit there we have it and remove this one here on the other side as well as this one there as you can see less of our chart is getting chopped now so we'll need to strategically move and then we'll need to resize that um our chart looks better for printing and we can move this like that because it fits it fits here already as i fix it the page layout the page orientation so there you have it if you feel that chart is too short and you want to expand that chart you might want to move it to a new sheet altogether and resize it appropriately so that your data has the best visual impact